China is still trying to get rid of every single virus case across the nation. Authorities have now put the country's capital under partial lockdown. Concerns about the economy echoed among residents as Chinese stocks linger near two-year lows. I am worried about the situation, but there is nothing to do about it. I just wonder how long is this situation going to last, and what will the economic consequences be? But it seems economic ramifications aren't going to hold back authorities, as Beijing shuts down a number of businesses and entertainment venues like gyms, theaters, libraries, shopping malls and tourist sites. This is too much to bear for some. A woman is in tears as she voices her dissatisfaction with the restrictions. Some residential buildings, offices, schools and a university were also locked down. Locals are saying the restrictions are too much. Restrictions in Beijing are very severe. I can't even go eat anywhere. I feel oppressed. I did the PRC test every day and I know that I am not sick. I did not get infected, but I still feel caged like I was sick. I feel these restrictions are excessive. They make people agitated. They can't bear it. The latest lockdown curbs in Beijing are targeting public transport. The capital shut down more than a tenth of its transit network on Wednesday. That's equivalent to more than 40 subway stations and 158 bus routes. I can't go anywhere. I can't go home. I can't eat. I can't get into a restaurant. And they won't even give me food. It's very bad. It's been about a week now since Beijing's partial lockdowns began, with no end in sight. And in the past week or so, authorities have conducted three rounds of virus testing on 20 million residents in the city. Don Ma, NTD News.